On Monday, South Carolina lawmakers will begin debating whether to remove the Confederate flag from state battlegrounds. The state's governor, Nikki Haley, called for it to come down just days after photos surfaced of the Charleston church shooter posing with it. Removing the flag requires a two-thirds vote from both chambers. No small task in South Carolina. Earlier this week, I sat down with the Governor, ha governor Haley for her first network interview since she called on lawmakers to remove it. I started by asking her whether she has the votes to take down the flag. I don't think this is going to be easy. Um, I don't think that it's going to be painless, but I do think that it will be respectful and that it will move swiftly. Enough votes could remove a Confederate battle flag that's flown in South Carolina's capital since 1961. Why did it take such an unthinkable tragedy to muster uh, the political will to do something that so many have said should have been done a long time ago? I don't know why this had to happen. All I will say is we are blessed in a time that you had nine amazing people welcome someone that didn't look like them, didn't act like them, and didn't sound like them, and have him come in and pray with them for an hour and then have him kill them. The compassion and the love and the outpouring across South Carolina and across this country should give us all hope. The time has come. Haley's decision spurred swift heartache. action. In Alabama, the governor ordered Confederate flags removed from Capitol grounds. Virginia and North Carolina's governors called for an end to license plates showcasing the flag. And retailers from Walmart to eBay announced they would no longer sell Confederate flag merchandise. For Haley, though, it's about more than the flag. I do always want to think that today is better than yesterday, that we're growing as a state, we're growing as a country. When something like this happens, you reflect and you say, have we changed enough? Now, Nikki Haley, born to Indian immigrant parents, hears the talk about being the political face of a new South. Beyond bringing down the, the Confederate battle flag, how else do we prevent something like what happened that Wednesday night? I thought a lot about that. That's what keeps me up at night because the flag is the beginning. It can't be the end. So the governor says, you know, beyond some sort of legislative fix, mm -hmm. she plans to spend uh, the remainder of her time in the governor's office going to schools and talking to kids about why she wanted to bring down the flag, to talk to kids about race relations, mm -hmm. uh, to spend her time doing that, thinking that that might be the way to prevent something like what we saw in that church a few Wednesdays ago. So important. I mean, just to go out and to actually start that conversation sure. and to start it with kids who are more honest yes. than, you know, adults in many ways yes. and more open. Catch them when they are pure. Mm -hmm.